Okay, so in this video, we will try and determine whether the alternating series converges or diverges. So, we're looking at summing the terms of this sequence, which we call as usual AN. Now that we have an alternating series, we consider the positive part of the sequence without the alternation. So, BN is n squared over n squared plus n plus 3. But if you look at BN and you use your intuition, you'll see there's something funny going on here. We have to show if we are to have convergence by the alternating series test that BN is eventually decreasing and that BN, as n tends to infinity, shrinks to zero. But use your intuition here and look at the second condition. The dominant term on top is n squared. The dominant term on the bottom is n squared. So when n is large, Bn is roughly n squared over n squared, which is 1, which clearly is not going to shrink to 0. So right now you should suspect that things are not going to work out. As n goes to infinity, Bn does not shrink to 0, therefore the alternating series test fails. And be careful here not to conclude that we have divergence by the alternating series test. The only possible conclusion of the alternating series test is if Bn is eventually decreasing and converges to zero in the limit, the series converges. If either condition is not satisfied, the test simply fails, so it returns nothing. But if we use our intuition, it should not be very hard to show that the series diverges by the divergence test. Using our intuition, Bn will approach one in the limit and so if this part approaches 1, and this is plus or minus 1 always, then this clearly cannot shrink to 0. It will oscillate between positive and negative 1 forever. And so, because An does not converge to 0, the terms we are summing over are not getting small enough, so we have to have divergence by the divergence test. So, let's now show this properly. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of bn is the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared over n squared plus n plus 3 and we will show that in the limit bn does converge to 1 now rigorously multiplying top and bottom by 1 over n squared which will give you a very simple limit. As n goes to infinity, 1 over n and 3 over n squared clearly shrink to 0, and the limit is 1. So our intuition was right on the money. As n goes to infinity, bn approaches 1. And now we can look at a n, which of course, if you look at this, An is simply negative 1 to the n minus 1 times Bn. But as we have just shown, as n tends to infinity, Bn approaches 1. So this part of our sequence is getting closer and closer to 1, and negative 1 to the n minus 1 is always either positive or negative 1. So we have a sequence where a part of the multiple is plus or minus 1 times something which is getting closer and closer to 1. Well, plus or minus 1 times something which converges to 1 clearly does not converge to 0. So the limit of an as n goes to infinity is not equal to zero. Therefore, the terms we are summing 
are not getting small enough, and so the series diverges. by the divergence test. So always be careful not to conclude divergence by the alternating series test, because the test either applies and yields convergence. If the test does not apply, it fails, and then you have to figure out what happened to the series using a different test. In this case, it was the simple divergence test. As the terms we are summing are not shrinking to zero, they're not getting small enough, and so the series diverges.